So I downloaded this free Iron Man helmet to test out what the problems were with a helmet or where I had to struggle. And as you can see, it's fitting not everywhere completely perfect. I think I can fix it and there are some issues, but you can repair everything. So that's no problem. So overall, for the first helmet I ever printed and I just started with a few test prints i'm very happy with the end result so let me show you what i did <laughs> Hi everybody and welcome back on Mad Builds. I'm printing my first helmet. It's an Iron Man helmet. It's from three parts. I never printed something like that because I'm just starting with the builds. And I thought, okay, I start with the front plate, the, the face mask, it's not the biggest part. And I saw some YouTube movies that you have to turn the mask so you don't use a lot of filament. So I tried it out and as so far, everything looks great. I played in Cura around with the angle where I shoot place the mask and there are big difference in time and in filament and in support structures, it's worth to play around and cure it how you should place the mask. So I decided like this, a little bit bent for over and there is enough support. In the end, I noticed I have a small problem downside of the mask, but I gonna look how I can fix that. And when the printer is finished, you have to loosen the mask of the printer bed. My settings stand like this. When the first layer is lied down on the printer bed, the temperature of the printer bed goes from 60 back to 35 and everything sticks great to the printer bed so for me there are no problems so far and then i want to try to print the main helmet in one part so i have to turn the helmet over on the back and the printer starts to print from the back to the front so this is the biggest piece i'm printing or i try to print till now and as you can see there is a pretty big solid foundation lying down on the printer bed i created three extra supports i don't know exactly if they were necessary but on the moment i thought they were necessary the plf is a little bit of stringing but i don't know if that's normal or a big problem i saw some videos where people were talking a lot about it for me now i think it's no big issue as you can see also in the video the helmet is hollow and uh, it's not completely filled so that's a big advantage because the helmets are lighter and you don't use as much pla to fill the whole helmet there are no big issues with printing the helmet like this so for now i think it's going very well for the first big helmet i think the layers of the pla are very fine so i think when you spray a little bit filament over there and then treat the helmet with sandpaper i think you are pretty quickly with painting the whole helmet so i think there is no big issues there you see on the top part of the helmet some stringing but there are no supports so i was expecting more trouble there on the end i think the helmet came out pretty good and then the back part the last part of the helmet with a lot of fine details in there i had to fiddle around a little bit with the supports but i'm very happy with the end result of that part and with all the parts printed of the helmet i have to get rid of the supports and i don't know if that caused any trouble or maybe i gonna damage or break something off the mask till now everything goes pretty easy off only the front uh, the bottom plate is a little bit harder and as you can see in the end result the print is not the way i wanted there there it's uh, I think there was a small failure or I did something wrong in Cura. I'm missing a small part. So 
I think I can repair it, but there went something wrong. But in the end, I'm very happy how the print came out, even the eyes. There's a very fine groove between the layers, so I think only a little bit of filament, sandpaper, and you're ready to go. And then the main helmet. There are some wires or some threads there, but they are easy to remove, so that is no big issue. The supports, the supports on the side of the helmet, I think they are gonna break easy loose. These are the three extra supports I made, those two and the one that was already loose. <laughs> And then with the support loose, I want to look if everything fits. And then I notice that the front plate of the mask is not fitting the whole the way through. But that was the thing I was talking about before. It's not a hundred percent fit. And I notice I have to do some repair works on the back of the mask and on the front of the mask. Uh, on the front that's the top of the mask and on the back what you can see is where the supports were. It's not totally flat. And then the back part of the helmet with a lot of structure in there. I'm gonna break loose the supports. It's pretty easy. There are no big issues and it's a pretty good fit. So only a little bit of sandpaper, cleaning the rough edges, and this one is good to use. So the end conclusion with printing my first Iron Man helmet. As you can see here in the front, there is an issue. It's not closing everywhere and I have to cut away a little bit and I don't know exactly how I'm gonna fix it, but I think I can fix it, so don't worry about that. I'm very happy with the end result of the helmet. I think it came pretty good out of the printer. If you want to see more videos like this or other helmets, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, let me know. And I hope to see you back in another video.